What are you doing, John? Ugh. Don't touch anything! Too late. Oh, <laughs> I got you red-handed. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, I just thought the basement needed a little sprucing up, so I put a little fresh coat of paint on it. Oh, here. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, can I see? Sure. Huh? Ah. It looks exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. So why paint everything if it's just gonna look exactly the same? Ah, I didn't want to dust. All right, well, anyway, we should get this cleaned up. We got a show to do. Wait, 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 I wouldn't sit. John? Yeah? Did you paint everything in the room? <laughs> John? John? John! Ugh. Hey everybody, I'm Steven. That low down, no good hairy face. And this is John. And and you're watching the so and so Booted, show. snappy, dressing, teeth, flossing. Problem, John? No. No, it's nothing. Just, just go on with the show. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. This can wait. Okay. So, have I got a surprise for you? Do you know what my close personal friend and longtime rival, Longbeard Carl, did to me? Do you know what he did? That no cheese eating, shoe wearing. What did he do? I don't even want to say. Okay. So you may have wondered exactly what I posted. What a hilarious picture on Longbeard Carl's Snap Twit profile, and he, he, he didn't even like it. Oh, you mean he didn't? No, he didn't even. Or he didn't even. Bummer. Or he didn't even. <laughs> not even a lousy L O L. Ah, oh, well, I mean, maybe he didn't see the picture yet. Oh, I posted it four minutes ago. Oh. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give Longbeard Carl a piece of my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him exactly how I feel. You know, communication is very important. In a text message. Okay. Dear Long Beard Carl, <laughs> you've got a lot of nerve. You know what? Maybe a phone call would be fast. Your quote friend, comma, unquote, John. Mm. Done? Yeah. Hope that helps. Yeah, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> oh no, you didn't! What? Look. I have no idea what that means. What, isn't it obvious? Longbeard Carl doesn't say much, but when he does, oh boy, look out, Boom! He's saying, I'm surprised at what a chicken you are. John, you're cheesy, you got served. That is a penguin. You know what, I'm done. It's over, let's just move on. Come on, you can't leave it like that. Oh, I'm leaving it. That's probably broken. Let's do this. Hey, I'm John. I did that part a long time oh, ago. Oh, that's great. Hey, yeah. why is the desk covered with a tablecloth? Oh, right. That's what I wanted to show you. Our desk has been through a lot, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Dad! Two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> So, as a surprise to you, and the show, and our viewers, mm -hmm. I took the liberty of giving our desk a little restoration. Now it's as good as new! Ooh. Ha ha! Wow! Yeah. It doesn't even look like the same desk! I Is know. Is it the same desk? You know, John, restoration takes time. You would not believe the lengths with which I've gone to restore our desk to its original splendor. No, seriously, is it the same I desk? traveled to the forest. 
the largest forest in the Northwestern Hemisphere. I spent days, weeks even, scouring the forest floor for the naturally discarded branches of the bald cypress tree, only selecting the most perfect specimens to fortify the edifice of our most prominent piece of furniture. And then I made my way to the Texarkana wood stain fields where the dark walnut wood stain flows like a river underground. This is the only stain that properly accentuates the essence of the desk. And finally, to the highest peak in Coralville, Iowa, I traipsed, and I called forth the famed lacquer bird, like so. Yip, yeah! And he carried me to his nest, where I feasted on berries whilst secretly collecting some of the lacquer for myself. And then, eventually, you know, I escaped from there and restored the desk. You bought a new desk, didn't you? Restoring furniture is really hard. Mm. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, guys. Tell us a story that will inspire us and enrich our lives. All righty then. Well, how about a story that will help you exercise forgiveness? That's right, Gallons! It's time to bible size with Maze! Hello, Horvath! 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 Horvath? Oh, no, you, you, you're Horvath. Oh! oh okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell a story, and Horvath here will help us remember it with some exercises. Bible sizes! Bible sizes! Yeah, All sure. right. Let's do this! You bet. All right. So Jesus was sitting on a mountainside teaching a big crowd. Some people call what he was teaching the Sermon on the Mount. All right! First exercise! The mountain sit. It's like this. You've got to get on the mountains, so you jumps, and then you sit. Okay. You do this, you okay, do this. Okay. All right, you jump and sit. Okay, we do this 10 times. Okay, ready? One. 45. So that's the cue. Tens. Okay, continue oh, stories! Right. One of the things Jesus taught was this. He said, suppose you were offering your gift at the altar. What? The altar. Well, it was a place where people would go to bring sacrificial gifts to God. It was very important because at that time, it was the only way people had to make peace with God when they messed up. Do, do you need me to... Second exercise! The God gift give. First... You lift the gift, okay. Ooh. then you give it to God. Oh. Goes! Oh. Lift, give, 137 times. One, two, space. Go, Schmoll. This heart, feel the bite. 137, all right, keep going. So Jesus said, whew. Yeah. Suppose you are offering your gift at the altar, and you remember your brother or sister has something against you. Oh, fifth exercise, the rememory smack. To do this, you have to use your brains, and your brains. Think real hard like this. Eh. Are, are you okay? And then you, oh, I remembered. You, you do this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, I remembered. Yeah, you do this exercise one time. Okay. Finish the story. Oh, yes, 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 okay. Uh, okay, yes. So you're at the altar and you remember your brother or sister has something against you. Then Jesus said, leave your gift in front of the altar. First go and make peace with them, then come back and offer your gift. One millionth exercise! Run! Run, Kellens! Oh. Run! We must make pieces with our brothers and sisters as fast as we can. You see how important forgiveness is to Jesus? He said people should make peace with their brother or sister before they made peace with God at the altar. Yeah, faster! Horvath? Hmm. 
In our world today, we don't have to bring a sacrifice to an altar to make peace with God. Jesus took care of that part when he gave his life on the cross for us. But forgiving others is still very important. So when you've got a problem with a friend or family member or anyone, try and forgive them quickly. The longer you wait, the harder it will be. Uh, oh, I have, I have made the pieces. That's great, Horvath. I'm very proud of you. Um, do, do you want to go sit down? Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Uh, uh. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. I guess that's it then. Yeah. Reveal! Wait, 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 wait. There's something I have to do first. Hold on. Where are you? He's just leaving. Oh. Water. Water. Whoa! Look at that bird! I hope it doesn't pick me up! Oh! Put me down! I'm trying to forgive somebody! Oh! Long beard, Carl! No. Don't speak. I have something to say. I am mad at you. Because you didn't respond to the picture I sent to you. And I didn't appreciate the emojis you sent back. Now, maybe you didn't Maybe you didn't see the picture. Maybe you didn't mean to send those emojis. I don't know. All I do know is this. No matter what the truth really is, I... I forgive you. Longbeard Carl. Thank you. <laughs> You're back. Yes. All yes. right. You may continue. Reveal the question. What is keeping you from forgiving? Yeah, yeah, is it anger or fear or good old fashioned pride? You know what, whatever it is, get rid of it because it feels good to forgive. True. Restoring a relationship can be hard work, just like it was hard work restoring this desk. You bought this desk. Yes, I did, but it would have been really hard if I tried. Yeah, I want the old desk back. That's fine. We can restore it together. Oh, deal! Indeed! Yeah! We'll see you all on the next so-and-so show. Yes, we will! Pew, pew, pew! Bang, bang, bang! Fair, 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 fair! Hurdy, hurdy! That's a surprised emoji, right? It could, it could be. Or he's just taking a really deep breath really fast. You no. Know, <sighs> possibly. Maybe he's, maybe he's running out of air. Got the piece of cheese there. He's saying, I'm cheesy, right? No. I would say that, you know, um, the, the mouse gets the cheese, right? right. So he's, he's thinking that you followed a long path through a maze and eventually remained victorious. Okay. 